Hello, this is Kenshin1913, and I'm just doing a quick response video to uh, my buddy Thomas Stout25. Um, basically, he made a video asking what is your favorite RPG or what is the best RPG of all time. And I figured I would respond, give him a response video. Instead of commenting, I would leave a response video. So here's, here are my... I, I, I uh, couldn't break it down to my favorite of all time. So I'm going to break it down to my three favorite... Um, my three favorite series. Best game out of those. And then a couple of other ones. You know, I'm kind of cheating. But I'm just... I'm, I'm letting you know what are some of my favorite RPGs. So basically, the my rule of RPGs, you know, what makes it a great RPG, great characters, that's number one. You gotta be able to like the characters or it's not gonna be that great. Two, great play, uh, game mechanics. You need that, otherwise the game's gonna be really dull. And three, great story, by the way. You need a great story. Sometimes you can get away with not having such a good story, but as long as you, you know, at least, to me, you know, make it as good as you can make it, you know. But, you know, I don't really care about graphics and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. So here are my lists, my top three series. It's going to be Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Breath of Fire. And now these aren't in any order, but if I had to choose my favorite Final Fantasy, it would have to be Final Fantasy VII or... Final Fantasy 8. Final Fantasy 8 because of the story and I really liked the characters. They were kind of, uh, they were awesome. They gave them like, you know, character development and I like that. Final Fantasy 7 because it's just easy and everyone loves Cloud and all that. You know, it's just a fun story. The second series is Dragon Quest and hands down it's 5. The characters, the story, and it's just fun to play. Really good game. Um, for Breath of Fire, it would have to be Breath of Fire 3 or Breath of Fire 4. I say 3 because I also, again, love the storyline. I don't know, something about if you grow up... Something with me, if you, like, start off as a child and then grow up throughout the game, it just makes it really cool, and that's kind of, like, what goes on in that game. And 4, just because I really like the story of, like, how you were a god and, like, all this other stuff. And then, you know, you're trying to... And then, you know, you have a, a opposite side of you, like Fu. I think his name was Fulu. He was really cool, too. Characters. Big time. Love those games for the characters. Some runner-up... You know, some other ones that aren't, like, on the list, you know, is Xenogears. I love that game. I can play that game forever and ever. And ever. Uh, great story. It's a big, it's a giant story. Excellent characters. Really fun gameplay. It's just amazing. I love that game. Another one I'd have to throw a shout out to is Valkyrie Profile, the first one. I'm not really a fan of the second game because, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's got all the game mechanics and stuff. It just seemed like kind of hard and stuff. It's kind of dumb. I don't know. But the first one. Fabulous story. All kinds of characters you can recruit. And uh, what else? Gameplay was very good. Just kind of like Xenogears with the. Uh, you use the different. Each uh, nut button uses like a different character or something. That was pretty nice. And then you can't talk about role playing games without talking about the Sukoden series. 1 and 2 are just my favorites Sukoden 1 and Sukoden 2. Those games are awesome. I can play those. Those are another game I can just play all day. It's just fun as hell. Um, you know, characters in that game are phenomenal. And not to mention that some of the characters from Sukoden 1 going to Sukoden 2. It's just... You kidding me? You can play as the hero from 1 and 2. It's just awesome. Next game I'd have to say is a little bit of a dark horse for a lot of people, but I enjoy that game for the Xbox Fable. Yes. You can again, it's something about growing up as a kid throughout the story that's just really cool and like you know, you grow up and all your actions are you know, you're either going to be good or bad and and you get your own house and stuff. You grow up and like the whole story is just pretty good. 
I just really, really enjoyed that game. A couple of, like, other games that I really liked. I'd have to say Chrono Trigger, of course. Everyone loves Chrono Trigger. I mean, you don't even have to explain why. Fun, you know, the characters aren't as, like, in-depth as, like, most, but the story's pretty fun. Gameplay mechanics are awesome. Uh, what's the other game I was thinking of? Super Mario RPG, another excellent game. You know, Gino, my favorite character, never brought back in anything else. That's a shame. And then finally, I'd have to say, Star Ocean 2 was a phenomenal game as well. Again, excellent gameplay mechanics, excellent, um, excellent characters. Man, I I loved all the characters in that game. Claude and, and Diaz and Aston. Man, those guys are awesome. Friggin' phenomenal guys. Uh, story was really good, you know. You could play as two different stories and, like, see how they in in interchange with each other. And then finally, uh, you know, and then Tail the Tales games. You can never go wrong with that. Tales of Destiny, Tales of Symphonia. But yeah, so those are some of my favorite RPGs, you know. And, um, yeah, that's basically... All I wanted to talk about, I wanted to let Thomas Stout know, you know, I can't come up with just one, because they're all different and they're all awesome. So I just came up with, like, a list of, like, my ten or whatever many there are, you know. Uh, what else? That's about it. Um, if you want, answer this question in the video response or leave a, leave a comment or something for him. You know, I'm, I'm sure he'll really appreciate it. What else? I think that's about it. So yeah, if you heard this song before, it's because I heart this song. Fabulous song. But yeah, I'm done. See you later. Bye.